The backlash is growing this morning among country music fans over a radio consultant who wants stations to limit the songs performed by women. Yesterday we showed you Keith Hill explaining to CBS This Morning why he believes that the research is on his side. And in a deep irony, it's the demand of female listeners who aren't thinking about it. They're just responding to that flow of song after song that they get on the radio. And if that mix has more females in it, they turn off quicker. Boy, Hill compares the ideal playlist to a salad, calling stars like Luke Bryan and Keith Urban the lettuce, and the female singers the tomatoes. Martina McBride is the artist behind six number one hits, 20 top 10 singles, and more than 18 million albums sold. Thank you very much. She joins us from Nashville. Martina, good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, let's get, let's get the tomato point of view. When you heard that you were referred to as a tomato in a salad, what in the world did you think? Well, I just think it's, it's just, you know, dismissive, to be mm -hmm. honest, um, to say that females don't like hearing other females on the radio. Obviously, there's been females that have had a lot of success with songs that other female listeners relate to and um, connect with. Do you think the numbers bear out what he's saying? You know, some of the biggest selling albums of all time have been by female artists. So when female artists make songs that people connect with, it obviously um, works. And I just feel like comments like that become sort of a self-fulfilling prophecy because then you have record companies that don't invest in female artists or sign female artists as much, uh, thinking that they're not going to get the return on their investment or get played on the ra females are get played on the radio. You have songwriters who aren't writing songs for females as much because they don't get played on the radio. So it just kind of becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy and it's a really dangerous kind of statement to just make a blanket statement like that. Well, Martina, we are glad you're here. And as someone who listens to a lot of country music, I like listening to a lot of women on country music too, men and women. Do you think some of your male counterparts and artists need to speak out as well? It's interesting. It's been pretty quiet <laughs> from, from um, you know, the male artist um, supporting the females. Why so, do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Yeah. I don't know. I think there's a lot at stake. You know, radio is powerful. And um, it's, it's just, I don't really know. I can't speak for why the, the support isn't, hasn't been there so far. But, but it's are a you relatively just... new, you know, a new, new thing. It only came out about a week ago. When I posted on Facebook, really, I didn't set out to be, you know, the spokesperson for this. I was just confused. Just, I read the statement and thought, huh, I wonder if if people know that this is kind of what goes on behind the scenes, if this is the formula um, for programming country radio, and clearly they did not know it and passionately disagree with it. But Martina, your, uh, your husband's been supporting you. He, he put on the, uh, right, the, the tomato lover t-shirt. <laughs> um, Miranda Lambert's joined you on Twitter. Her husband, Blake Shelton, has not spoken out. Does that disappoint you? Do you think he should? I, I, I don't like to say what people should or shouldn't do. If he feels you know, strongly about it, he should say something. Just um, but I don't, I don't want to say that he should or should not. It's, it's really a personal choice. What do you think should come out of this? I think an awareness. You know, I think a lot of fans of country radio, especially female fans, were not aware that they were being, um, I guess, represented in this way to say that females like to hear males, only like to hear males, and don't like to hear fe other females sing songs. I feel like country music is about relatability, and, and as, a fe as a female myself, I love to hear people sing songs that I can relate to, that t speak about my life, that, that make me feel... Um, that they understand, you know, what I'm going through. And so that's what the beauty of country music has always been to me is relatability. Martina, thank you.